So today I just wanted to run by you a couple things with the ANET and just 3D printers in general. First off, a couple pointers, uh, quick tips. So uh, don't be afraid to get into your extruder and um, you know take it apart and see how it works. But you know if you have something jammed in your uh, your nozzle or your you know your hot end somewhere, um, you know you want to be able to take it apart and get it unjammed because you don't want to be uh, not able to print for any period of time. So um, that's cool. Also, um, whenever you um, are done printing for the day or just done with the print in general, um, I like to take out my uh, filament of the hot end just so it won't harden up in there um, after the cool down. So, I mean, if you're printing over and over again with uh, the same filament, then you don't have to worry about that. But, you know, after the end of the day, you still take it out of your hot end and, you know, that'll prevent stuff from, you know, staying in there overnight and hardening. And, you know, uh, you will be able to get your filament in when you're ready to print next time really easily. Um, so, the main thing with this video is a uh, glass bed for the ANA A8. Now, it's the cheapest, easiest, uh, fastest, uh, most awesome mod that I've done besides the, um, besides the auto level. I mean, there's other safety mods, of course, but, uh, you know, this, this mod is awesome. I mean, of course, you could print on your, uh, your tape. Um, your regular masking tape um, but with the thing with masking tape is sometimes it's hard to get it off the bed plus the masking tape has these uh, little imperfections on the actual um, surface of it so that's kind of a bust when you go to take off your prints and it kind of takes down the quality of your first layer so what I uh, did was I went to the dollar store um, my local dollar store is the Dollar Tree um, you know, they have Family Dollar, 99 Cent Store, wherever you're located. Um, but I got a couple of these picture frames. Now, these were a dollar a piece, of course, and they are glass. So, uh, I don't know, you can kind of read that if you'd like. And uh, you can see exactly what it is. But, um, you know, pretty much it is a, I think it's a 10... So these are 9 by 9 frames. So that adds up to just over, you know, uh, 2, 230, uh, 230 by 230, which, you know, is fine. It's not the exact size, but, you know, it's good. So, I mean, I guess, you know, you don't have to get this cut if you don't have the auto level sensor. Because with my sensor, I don't have to, um, you know, get in there with a, uh, uh, with my... Fill up screwdriver and adjust the bed height uh, for my z-axis and I just have my sensor for that so I mean you could adjust from the bottom and if you can do that then you can use this and it'll just cover up your uh, your screws but if not um, you know they have other things there too like this glass piece right here um, this was in a mirror uh, and um, it had a frame around there that I took off and this piece actually fits on there perfectly with the uh, with the screws showing and um, you know this piece didn't really like the heat as much for the ABS prints but that's where I'm getting uh, to go with the glass now the glass at least this piece um, these pieces from these frames from the Dollar Tree um, these guys can go up to 95 uh, is what I've seen so far um, I mean I pretty much go to 90 for uh, my ABS prints um, TPU and PLA are at bed uh, 70 or 60 so I mean that's fine and it gets up to 90 no problem it doesn't shatter it's really resilient um, I dropped you know tools on it before and um, you know it's good to go and it retains the heat really good I do not have a heat gun to see uh, what what the actual surface of the glass is but I'm sure it's just below if not the same as uh, the thermistor uh, reading so um, pretty much I'll show you a different angle right now. So here we go. All right, so what we got here is the bed and um, I got my 230 by 230 millimeter glass sheet right here. 
and as you can see, it's going um, around and uh, totally overlapping the whole bed, which is fine for my situation, because what I got right here is I got these little pink um, adjustment screws right here so I can adjust it from the bottom if you don't have the sensor or if you do have the sensor then you don't need to adjust it at all and you're good to go as is. So the bed's hanging up right now. Um, pretty much what I do before uh, each day when I start printing is I'll clean my bed and I'll just wash it off with, um, with, uh, with just Windex or whatever. So I'll clean it off and then before the print, it depends on exactly what material I'm printing with, but I'll spray some, uh, uh, some uh, super hold professional hairspray on there and um, that'll do a good job on keeping it uh, held onto the bed and um, making sure that it sticks on there, the whole print. Um, so I mean, you can get this from Walmart or you can go to a dollar store uh, while you get your bed and grab some for a dollar somewhere and I'm sure that stuff will work for you okay so what we got is we got the um, the glass sheet right here also we got these binder clips and these are the smaller ones you can get these at the dollar store as well so we're up to three dollars so far with the glass sheet the binder clips and the hairspray and um, that's it um, so, I mean, you want to make sure that you have a really good, uh, you know, layer, uh, a Z, your, you know, your Z axis and your uh, Z limit is perfect for your, um, for your bed. Make sure your bed is level and, um, you know, make sure that the filament is nice and squished up on the first layer to your bed. Um, so right now we're going to print a couple things. We're going to print a couple whistles. So, um... We'll see, uh, I might do a little time lapse on this, but this camera isn't too good. I, uh, I don't have a GoPro right now. My, my, my session is uh, not working. I got in a FPV accident. So that's it. Um, but yeah, I mean, um, let's get it done. I will spray some of this on here right now. And you know, you just wanna do a light coat, just like that. And that's fine, you know, if you get a little bit too much on there, it's whatever, it'll dry. And that's good, that'll be fine. So, um, when, I was at the, when I was at the store, I got two of those, or two or three of those mirror, or of those picture frames. But, you know, you'll be good to go with just one if you want. And, uh, here we go. Here is your glass bed print. And one more thing, it, um, it really, really, really looks awesome on the first layer you know with the tape it's really rough and stuff like that it looks like the top layer or whatever with the first layer of uh, with the glass bed it looks you know really really smooth it looks professional prints like uh, it looks like you're gonna get some really good professional prints alright so uh, one two three four five oh, oh, oh! So the bed's at about 38, so it's pretty much cooled down all the way. So let's see how much pressure it takes to grab this guy. Just like that, and they both, they both moved. I just moved it a little bit and it popped off. And actually the force of it coming over hit this other one and knocked it off as well. And you can see... Maybe you can't see. Hold on a second. Maybe you can't see, but it's really shiny. And it has kind of like a gloss finish to it. But, yeah, you kind of see it right there. 
Um, so yeah, that was the first layer. That's the layer on the glass bed, and that's what all your prints will look like. Now this is PLA printed at uh, 100 millimeter second on the ANET A8. Um, there was an imperfection in the model, um, and that was actually in the model uh, before I even printed it. I saw that, so I knew that that was going to be there from the beginning. But um, other than that, it's pretty good. It's a little whistle. Uh, I made a couple of them. But uh, let's see. Oh yeah, that works. I'll link the STL for this whistle if you want to print this. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's the print bed. And um, very easy assembly. Very cheap. And, um, you know. So we got that all done. Um, if you guys have any questions, you can leave me a comment down below. Um, if you have any ideas for new videos, you can leave a comment and uh, subscribe for more uh, in the future. Cool. Thanks, guys. Bye.